Welcome back to Rude Tunes Arcade. In today's video, we're going to go over, basically, I'm going to show you step by step how to take the image, the audio, and everything from your arcade machine and convert it to a complete, clean gameplay. Also, still having the ability to have your webcam. But the takeaway here is by the time this video is done, you're going to be able to hear all the audio through your arcade machine without having to wear your headphones. And you'll get the full arcade experience. So you can get basically your gameplay footage recordings in 1080p, 2K or 4K, whatever you want, and not have to sacrifice the experience and joy of playing at your arcade machine. So we're gonna do both, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do it. So at the end of the video, you're gonna be sitting there with a nice webcam of whatever you want inside of it. You're gonna have crystal 2K, 4K, 1080p gameplay uploaded to your audience and you're still going to have all the fun of playing on your arcade machine without sacrificing anything. So let's get into it. OK, so we're starting out here and I'm going to show you guys. This is my uh, streaming setup. It's a little clutter right now. And this is my arcade machine that I'm going to be using. So what do we need to get this thing going? Well, first of all, we'll take a look at all the things we need. OK, we're going to need a laptop. Okay, there's my PlayStation and my Xbox, but they're not part of the video today. So our laptop, that's the one I use to uh, do all my recording with. We're going to need two HDMI cables. Okay, I got a real long one here. Okay, and I have another HDMI cable here. We're going to need <clears throat> an HDMI splitter or extender, I should say, female to female. Okay, and this is optional. If you get two long cords like this one, you don't need it. But I have one short, so I'll show you how to do the short one. And I have one long one, okay? So I'll show you, and I'll come into play later. You're gonna need, obviously, a capture card. I have an Elgato 4K capture card, but you don't have to have the 4K one. You can have any capture card that you that works well with your PC that you have in your current setup. Obviously, you're gonna need an arcade machine. Um, what I'm running inside mine is, okay, I don't have a power on right now, but I'm running a mini PC in it, okay? So, and we'll take a look at that later on. And, that's pretty much all you need. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, also what I forgot to mention as well is you're gonna need a webcam. Okay, I have a 4K um, Elgato head cam, but like I said, you don't have to have a 4K one. You can have whatever webcam you're using or if you're using a laptop camera, whatever you're gonna use. Uh, that's why I do all my streaming. I have, um, I'm using OSB on mine. Now we got mine set up. So this isn't so much a tutorial for uh, OSB. And I have my headphones here along with my boom mic. That's what I'm using. For this setup though, I'm gonna have mine off. Okay, but we'll double check that later on. Right now it's on, but we're not recording. So, okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the capture card, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this, we're gonna implement this to our monitor, the smaller cable. So the gray one's the small one. So that's gonna be our output signal. So if you look on the back, <clears throat> you can see, let me get close. Okay, it's upside down, but you can see where it says HDMI in. I'll turn it upside right for you guys. All right, if you look on the back of the capture card, you can see where it says, this thing focuses. It says HDMI in and HDMI out. HDMI out. So what we wanna do, since we're using two cables, the in is going to be basically whatever uh, is providing your power source. Meaning, if you got a PlayStation Five, an Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, uh, Xbox Series X, Raspberry Pi, or in my case, I have a mini PC. That's going to be your in. So that's what's going to be your signal. This is what's going to hook to your uh, source. So we're going to put that in the in, and out is going to be your monitor. Okay. So in my arcade machine, I have a monitor. HDMI cord going from the uh, computer to the monitor, but it's small, okay? So I wanna go to my monitor, that's where this is gonna come in, the double female HDMI uh, extender, okay? So this goes to out, this is the monitor, this goes to in, this is the source. All right, so right now we're inside the arcade machine. We got our power supply and our amp down here, but we don't need to worry about that. This is our mini PC we're running. It's actually a pretty cool PC. It's a Paladin uh, AMD. And it's capable of playing some high-end games as far as arcade games. Now, it's not, it's not going to run. It can run Call of Duty, but not that great. But this isn't a Call of Duty video. It's a fight. This is an arcade video. So, um, what we want to do now is we want to take our mini PC. And we want to go to the back. 
And this is the HDMI that goes to the monitor right here. We're gonna take unplug that, okay? And we're gonna plug in the big black cable that we had, all right? So make sure that's when get that plugged in. Okay. So that goes to the back like that, okay? And the one that I just took out, okay, this one right here, all right, this goes to the monitor that's inside my arcade machine. So we're gonna put the adapter on this end, okay? And we're gonna put the other end of that gray cable that's plugged into the capture card that's coming off the out. We're gonna put it here. Now what this does, it puts, takes the signal from, basically the best way to explain it is, the black cable I plugged in is now coming out going to my capture card and to my PC that's doing the recording. What happens is it puts it on that screen and then it sends the signal back, the capture card, back through here to the monitor. So this isn't connected to the PC here. This is connected strictly basically from the capture card, the bridge, and then straight to my monitor, okay? So if you're confused, you can always go back and take another look. So let's go ahead and fire up our arcade machine and see what we got on our OSB software, see what kind of picture we're getting, okay? Atlas. Presented by Cave. Go, 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 So basically guys, that's what you would look like once you're all set up and good to go. I mean, I think it's a night and day difference between, you know, having your arcade set up where you're, you have to sacrifice playing on your machine to get your, you know, gameplay footage, or even if you're streaming. Um, what I like about this setup is you have the option as well. So I didn't, when I was playing the video, um, you guys got full video, full bleh, tongue twisted. You guys got full sound on the video but I was able, I didn't have to wear these headphones. I was able to hear the arcade game coming through my arcade speakers. And that's what you want. You want the, you're actually, you gotta record a video. You know, you definitely wanna have that fun too. So you won't have to sacrifice, you know, your sound or sitting at your arcade machine. And you know, it's sitting there looking pretty, but you're not getting no, you know, play time on it. So with this setup, um, it lets you be able to have a crisp, clean capture. And one thing I don't like as well, I'll just point out while I'm here. You probably can hear it in the background. You hear that i don't like that um when i'm playing my games i like doing it when if i'm playing the game obviously i like doing that but i don't like uploading videos with me mashing buttons like that some people like that i mean it's fine um i just want a clean experience when i'm doing mine uh, i don't really like wearing the headphones either because um they get heavy on your head after a while and i want you know just a free movement um another option like if you if you're making a commentary on your arcade machines or your arcade playthroughs you can always uh do like, you can always hook this up, okay? And you'd plug this into your speakers, okay? So you'd plug this into the, not speakers, I'm sorry, into the system that you're using. So for me, this plug would have to go either into my arcade, to my uh, PC over here, or if I want audio, I can get it, uh, plug it into my mini PC. Make sure that you uh, have the volume turned down on your capture device, that way you're not getting that uh, echo effect um if you want to commentate or you can do another way is uh, what a lot of people do is they shoot the video first and then they comment put the commentary over the top you know um obviously there's a difference because it's not real time and you're going to get a better reaction in real time but 
you know, it's, it's acceptable. Most people are there, let's be real. They like your commentary, but more they're more so there for the gameplay. All right. Um, so you can add little pop-up windows or whatever you do, you know, but you can do it after the fact. But you're delivering nice audio, a crisp picture, and not that over-the-shoulder look. Like, like if I try to play the game now, I mean, obviously you can see it's Mortal Kombat. And, but look at all the light I'm getting. I'm trying to point to it here from my, um, you know, lights in my room from my camera. So you don't want all that. You, you want a nice, crisp, clean picture. And what's also cool is if you're using the webcam, you can turn those lights off and it'll, and it'll give you the effect of being in an arcade where, you know, you got the lighting in the back. Oh, well, it's dim in the back and you can still see the screen and see your arcade machine. So I like the webcam uh, uh, little square I got on mine. It's going to be on this side, not that side. But a square I got on mine where uh, I, you can actually see me playing my arcade machine. So it's a win-win. I'm playing my arcade machine. I'm having a blast. You can see why I'm playing my ar arcade machine. You're cutting out all the, you're cutting out all that. Plus, you're getting crisp audio and video on the video that you're delivering. So I think it's a win-win all around. So that's going to do it pretty much for this video, guys. If you get caught on anything or, uh, you know, getting hiccups and you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. Um, so while I was, the game I was playing was Dodon Pachi. So I figure in, in celebration of getting our everything set up and our studio moved back upstairs, um, we're going to do a playthrough of Dodon Pachi in this video right up here, or it might be here. It depends on what I, where, where it puts it. But, um, so if you're interested in checking that out, definitely check it out. We're going to go through and do a quick gameplay of uh, Dodon Pachi, which will be the first of many, um, arcade playthroughs to, um, on this channel, because that's what I like doing. I love, um, Playing my arcade, arcade uh, games, and I just want to share that experience with you guys if you're interested. So, uh, please rate, subscribe, and comment. And as always, guys, take care of yourself, protect you in peace. God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.